Hello, beautiful people! If you're here, then you must have some idea about BL or boys love. If you don't, well, it basically means gay stuff. Mostly Asian gay stuff. Anyway, welcome to an unhelpful guide to BL slash yaoi, where I will give a brief history of this homosexual universe in an attempt to recruit you, my darling viewer, to our rainbow cult. Let's get started! Yaoi, also known as boys love or BL, is a genre of narrative or visual work originating in Japan that features homoerotic relationships between male characters. It spans a wide range of media such as manga, anime, live action movies, TV dramas, games, and novels. And yaoi finds its origin in fan culture of the late 1970s and early 1980s. Now you must be thinking, what the hell does yaoi mean? Well, it is a shortened version of the Japanese sentence yamanashi, ochinashi, iminashi, meaning no climax, no plot, no meaning. As it was a term referring to amateur fan works as a way of distinguishing them from mainstream popular publications. Fun fact, there is an inside joke among fans that yaoi is really an abbreviation of yamete oshiri ga itai, which translates to stop it, my ass hurts. <laughs> yaoi works are usually created by and created for female audience. Gay content created by and targeted at gay men falls under the subgenre of bara, which are sexually explicit in nature. Another popular term or genre is shonen ai, which has innocent content focusing on emotional aspects and daily lives of young boys with little or no sexual content. In Japan, yaoi is occasionally written as 801 through wordplay, as the short reading of the number 8 in Japanese is ya, 0 can be read as the English o, and the short reading of the number 1 is e. However, all these terms were eclipsed with the commercialization of male-male homoerotic media in the early 1990s under the label of boys' love. Today, all these terms are mostly seen as interchangeable by most people due to their overlapping nature and origins. By the way, female fans of yaoi are called fujoshi, while the male fans are called fudanshi. Now all this gay shit started in Japan due to a bunch of people who are called the Year 24 group. This group consisted of several female manga creators who were all born around the 24th year of Showa, basically 1949. Anyway, one of the most popular writers of this era was Kieko Takemiya, whose manga series Kaze Toki no Uta is considered to be the first BL manga. What a gay icon. Due to its controversial content, it took 9 long years for this manga to be finally published in 1976 and continued its run till 1984. Simultaneously, a magazine called June was playing an important role in BL history. It began as a response to the success of commercially published yaoi manga as well as the rising popularity of the bishonen or the beautiful boy aesthetic that focused on the androgynous beauty of young men. It basically combined the tradition of aesthetic literature with homosexual romance, often with tragic as well as explicit content. The magazine was so influential that the word June itself came to represent BL culture and the BL genre. Thus, the world of BL gradually expanded, and when the 1990s came around, we entered the classic era of yaoi, which saw the birth of many influential and popular manga, many of which were released as anime adaptations. By late 90s and early 2000s, the BL phenomenon began catching the interest of audiences abroad. There began an increased availability of English translated manga and anime, and with the help of internet, Western audiences were soon exposed to the world of BL. Fun fact, BL content in China or of Chinese origin are known as Danmei. Also, in BL culture, 
The top is called a seme while the bottom is known as uke. Seme means to attack while uke means to receive. You know what I'm talking about. So, the BL tradition was started by women for women with a very feminine and sexualized portrayal of homosexual relationships. But today, the BL genre is taking on new and exciting forms of expression by challenging the traditional plot structures and tropes. It has become a global phenomenon with an increasing number of international content. To differentiate it from the Asian-specific yaoi, many people use the term global yaoi or global BL for western titles. And I'm going to end here. But before I sign off, here is a brief recap of everything. Yaoi is a blend of emotion and beauty involving two people whose love is looked down upon. The art tries to show that all love is magical, like in Lisa Akimoto's piece, Tweet and Craig Forbidden Love. Aww. Yaoi can branch out to other things as well. Uh-oh. As we see here in Lily, Frog, Tweak, and Craig. I hope this unnecessary video proved educational or at the very least entertaining to you. Now that you know the basic history of boys love, are you ready to dive into this wonderful world? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for coming to my TED talk. Make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe and check out my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.